Echo 4, Echo 4, this is Delta 3. Request permission to launch. Autonomous pod transport is an unmanned logistics system. So the intent is to deliver cargo in the military sector. You need certain batteries or radios or specific supplies, not a, a pallet, but several cases of something, maybe just MREs for a squad. You're gonna want a smaller, more manageable supply system. And that's what, where the autonomous pod transports come. It is a vertical takeoff and landing system that converts to fly on the wing like a biplane. So you get the benefits of VTOL, runway independence, but you get the efficiency of flying on wing. And what that translates into is higher speeds and increased range. What's important about the app also is that it's a scalable family of systems. We have already developed the App 20. The App 20 is flying. We have the App 70 that we've demoed and used in experiments. App can be scaled up even further. This is not a replacement for an existing or future uh, manned platform. This is actually addressing a capability gap. We're looking at operating these at the last tactical mile. In today's modern combat, consistently flying your manned helicopters and your future aircraft right up to the edge of the battle against an adversary that's gonna be armed with state-of-the-art air defense weapon systems is a high risk. So we are looking for something that can operate effectively in these areas. So your autonomous pod transports. So we started off with an aircraft that had low acoustic signature, so very quiet. The second part is you look at the heat signature of the aircraft. It's an electric motor. It doesn't have any large heat sources. It doesn't have an exhaust. So it's very thermal neutral. So now you have something that operates with a great deal of built-in survivability without the need for some active system. And then also what's very important to this that just differentiates it from manned platforms is it's an unpredictability in where it's taking off and landing. The App 70, for example, only has a landing diameter requirement of 25 feet. Put that in perspective, the a UH-60 Blackhawk rotor system is 53 feet. So we can land in a cylinder that's only 25 feet across where a Blackhawk wouldn't even be able to put the rotor system into it. So this gives you unpredictability of where you're taking off and landing from, you know, small areas that the enemy can't predict. A box of MREs, a case of water, and a four pack of Bravo Alpha 5590 batteries. Roger. This particular system was just recently demonstrated at Fort Benning as part of the Army Expeditionary Warrior Experiment 2020. We were able to demonstrate carrying various different types of payload, MREs for instance. The App 70 can also carry ammo, water, medical products. If a soldier on the ground doesn't have goggles or their goggles are broken, App 70 can bring goggles. It really is an open aperture as to what the App 70 can carry. It was a very successful mission experiment for the App system. And so for our military customer, we believe that this provides degrees of freedom for them to be able to lighten the load for expeditionary activities and not have to worry about where the supplies come from. We think this will help provide a solution to both, not just the soldiers, not just the Army, but also Marines. Roger, clear to launch, over.